I'm not ready to record yet. Okay, what's happening here? I'm about to call Q-Link Wireless, a uh, toll-free customer support line to speak with a live agent about my phone not enabling me to have Wi-Fi access when the phone has that capability in its manual. It's been removed by Q-Link uh, tech agents uh, so that, and I, what I'm assuming is that they want me to buy their data plan. It's supposed to be a free phone. Okay, so here we go. I'm calling them now. I'm going to pause this because I don't want to use up all this recording. Hold on. I'm putting it on speaker. Our system has identified your account. Records show that your phone has been received at the address you provided and is ready for use. Yeah. We send all deliveries with the United States Post Office, so please double check your mailbox. Phone usage is also recorded in our system. To See, they're already the using my minutes for this call with information that I don't need. See, the options that they gave me in chat aren't even the correct options on their system. Press six. So I pressed five and then six. It told me to press three and then four in the live chat. So they're wasting my minutes. All this recording information I don't need. All I need to do is speak to a live person. Second it dry. To return to the main menu. Sorry that you're having problems using your phone. How do I speak to a live agent? Sure that you have removed any stickers that to sign up or enroll with Q-Link Wireless Lifeline Service. Press 1. If you need information to sign up or enroll with Q-Link Wireless Lifeline Service, press 1. If you to sign up or enroll with Q-Link Wireless Lifeline Service, press to qualify for Q-Link Wireless. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. All right, so I brushed three and four like she told me to do without listening. Let's see if this works. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe she was giving me information on how to bypass the whole rigmarole that I just went through. This is, I, I did a video for this company just now uh, to win a free smartphone. They, they asked me three questions on why I like Q-Link service. So... Let's hope that my video wasn't in vain. Let's hope that they provide me with quality customer service right now and I don't have to pull myself out of that contest. Yes, hi. I'm calling because um, the phone that I have that you guys sent me is um, supposed to have Wi-Fi um, available on it, but it's not in my settings. It's It's been removed from the phone. So I'm wondering if you can help me uh, reset up this phone so that I can use the Wi-Fi at the house to access the web with it. You're not calling on the phone, correct? Yes, I'm calling on the phone. Do you have another phone? 
Yes, I do. You need me to call you with a different phone? Correct, because if we troubleshoot and we get everything taken care of, you would need to call us from another device so we could just have you uh, have the other phone in your hand so you could do it. Okay, I'm going to do that. Now, will this phone call that I just made to you guys, is that going to take the minutes off of my phone? No, it's a toll-free call whenever you call us. Okay, cool. I'll call you right back then. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. All right, so I got to call him right back. I'm going to pause this. Okay, here we go. I'm calling him back with the house phone. This call may be monitored, you bet. Listen carefully, as the menu options have changed. Please note that, due to a change in federal regulations, you are required to make at least one call every 30 days to keep your Q-Link phone service active. Our system has identified your account. Records show that your phone has been received at the address you provided. It's ready for use. We confirm all deliveries with the United States Post Office, so please double-check your mailbox. Phone usage is also recorded in our system to ensure delivery to the right person. The number of minutes remaining on your balance is 308 minutes. To sign up or enroll with Q So far, I am getting quality cu customer Before service, so this is good. This is a good on sign. How to provide your documents or what type of document you need to qualify for QLink Wireless Lifeline benefit, you are required to submit proof of participation in a government assistance program and proof of identification before your application can be approved. To check the status of your application, press 1. If you, before you can receive a tracking before you can receive a tracking number for your QLink phone, before you can receive a tracking number for your QLink to sign up or enroll with QLink Wireless Life to qualify for QLink, this call may be recorded. For okay, here we go, share. live agent. <laughs> Exciting. I might get web on my phone now. Mind you, this is all free. I'm getting this all free through a program from the U.S. government, United States government, that, uh, that I qualify for because I get um, federal assistance. Okay, I, am, I have been disabled for many years now because of a couple of accidents that I was in. So me finding work has been difficult. And uh, without these services, I wouldn't have been able to survive. So anybody that tells you that the United States government doesn't care about its people, think again. They do, okay? They don't do everything right, but they do do some things right. It's up to us to take accountability and, and use these services that are provided, okay? I'm here to help people understand how that can take place. How can we use what's already available to make our lives better without complaining or pointing the finger or here we go. Thank you for calling to Q Link Wireless. My name is Tanya. How may I help you? Yes, hi. I'm calling. I just called uh, a second ago and I needed a call back with the house phone. The phone that you guys sent me um, is able to connect through the internet uh, via Wi-Fi, but that option has, has not been set up on this phone, so I'm calling to have that changed. Okay, so we cannot go ahead and do anything as far as your Wi-Fi connection. We wouldn't be able to set that up for you at all. Now, if it, I don't, it, all the Wi-Fi, all you have to do is scroll the screen down, click, click Wi-Fi, and if you want to connect to your Wi-Fi, you have to put in that password. We wouldn't be able to assist you with that information. That's something okay, okay. The person that I just spoke with before understood my question and told me to call back. What I'm telling you is that... No, 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 no. Listen to me for one second, please. We don't do anything with Wi-Fi. I, I understand. Listen to me for one second, please. Okay. The, I go through the settings in my phone, okay? The Wi-Fi menu that, that it says in the user manual is not available on this phone, okay? There's something the way the phone is set up that it's been removed. I need to speak with somebody who can help me 
change that so that the phone can be reset to its factory settings so that I can enable the Wi-Fi on this phone, please. Okay, what is your first and last name? Jonathan Richmond, R-I-C-H-M-A-N. I see it here, add your date of birth and the last four of your social. 430 of 76, last four is 8887. You should have all that information. You should have my phone model, all that stuff yeah, right in I front have of you. all of that, but I need you to verify your account. If you don't verify your account, I wouldn't be able to help you. Okay, thank you. And can you provide me your full address? Sure, it's 1342 Warbonnet Drive, O'Fallon, Missouri, 63366. And is your email still the same? It is. Okay, great. And is your alternative still the same, the alternative number? Yes, it is. Okay, great. All right, give me one moment, please, and a brief hold. No problem. See, all that information that they just asked me is now in this video. I didn't want that to be in the video, okay? But now you guys have my address as well. This is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. People don't understand that what they're protecting is themselves. They're not protecting me so much as they are themselves. They're protecting me too, but the process that they go through... <sighs> It's not that great, okay? This is why people get hacked. This is why people's credit cards get uh, tapped for things that they didn't purchase. This is why this stuff needs to change, okay? We need to better encrypt our security systems. People don't like technology. They don't like change. Well, if we don't change the technology that we're using, we're never going to make it to another planet, okay? We're never going to meet the other life that's in the universe. We're going to be stuck in the same old situation that we've always been stuck in, using oil and nuclear power and all the stuff that's killing the planet. Okay, sir. Yes. Well, unfortunately, like I stated before, we wouldn't be able to help you with that. What I can do is email you your manual so you could go ahead and try to figure out how to do it. Um, but other than that, we wouldn't be able to assist you. Okay, that's unfortunate because I already have the PDF of the manual for this phone. And like I said before, the options for enabling Wi-Fi on this phone aren't available in my system menu on the phone the way that the manual says. Do you understand what I'm saying? I understand everything you're saying, but what I'm telling you is we cannot assist you as far as the Wi-Fi connection. Okay, that's unfortunate. So um, up until this point, I've had quality customer service. Now what you're telling me now does not correlate with the technology that I understand because this phone is a specific model of phone. The manual that comes with this phone is a specific manual for this model of the phone. The difference is that the Wi-Fi option has been removed by your technical department. Okay? So either you're not telling me the truth right now. You want to speak to a supervisor? Because they'll inform me of the same thing. Uh, I would love to speak to a supervisor. And if they can't help me, my lawyer will be speaking with your CEO. This is why uh, United States citizens need to be aware of their rights. They need to be aware of the technology that they're using. Hi, my name is Emily, and I'm one of the supervisors here at Q-Link Wireless. How may I assist you today? Have you been informed of uh, the information that I gave your representative of what my situation is already? Yes, yes, I have been informed. I just wanted to let you know that when it comes to your Wi-Fi, a hard reset is not going to help. Now, you are more than welcome to attempt a hard reset on your own. We will not do a hard reset with you for Wi-Fi issues. I can have the rep email you a copy of your phone manual. Okay, can you explain to me why, why, listen, why did the person that I first called before I switched to my house phone tell me to get on my house phone so that you guys could walk me through the reset on the phone? I'm not sure, but I'm definitely going to have to um, speak with the representative that you were speaking with. Because we will not do a hard reset for Wi-Fi issues. Why not? I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even see that you support Can you tell me why not? Because a hard reset is not going to help anything with your Wi-Fi. That's why a hard reset is meant for when a device cannot call, text, anything like that. Okay, well, the device, the device does not have the option that the model of the phone 
has available for it. So I'm, at this point, this is how I'm going to progress. Wait, 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 one second. Let me finish, please. Let me finish, please. I am your customer. Okay? If you do not help me with this, my next action will be to contact your company through my lawyer. I will be contacting your CEO. That's fine. You can go ahead and do that, sir. Okay, so you're choosing not to help me at this point with, with, with enabling the Wi-Fi on the phone that you sent me? Absolutely. Go ahead and contact your lawyer, sir. Did you want me to email you a copy of your manual? No, I already have the manual. That's what you're not understanding is you think I'm an idiot and I'm not. I don't think, no, I mean. Listen very carefully to what you're, what you're deciding right now because little did you know that this phone is being recorded for quality assurance. Do you understand that? recorded as well. We record every single one of our calls. Okay, so before you make this decision right now, think about your career, think about your family, and think about the company that you work for because I am not the only person that has experienced this problem. So when the class action comes through, you might lose your job. Okay, if you feel that way, sir. Uh, no, I'm not, it's not that I feel that way. I'm giving you heads up warning to be prepared. Okay. Because okay. If, if you agree with the policies that you're following with right now, which is basically evasion, extortion, and uh, uh, government... Co extortion. No, it's government collaboration with eavesdropping and other stuff that's going on with all these telecommunication services. You want me to buy a data plan and not have the Wi-Fi that this phone is supposed to be, provide me with, correct? Well, I'd have to disagree with you there because almost all of our customers love their Wi-Fi feature and they all- Well, you guys sent me a phone that's probably five years old at least, okay? And there's other phones out there. The reason why I came to Q-Link was because somebody recommended your company because you're not, you're not like, don't interrupt me. Go ahead, sir. Continue. Thank you. The reason why I came to Q-Link was because a gentleman had got a phone through you that was a smartphone. Okay? The other carrier that I had a uh, safe link or whatever it's called service through did not send me a smartphone. So that's why I came to you. And you guys sent me this Kyocera, which is a nice phone. It would be a smartphone, except that you've removed the option for me to enable Wi-Fi access on it so that I have to buy your data plan. That is unfair to me. That's a complete assumption on your part. No, it's not an assumption. I am completely qualified to be technically adept with this device, okay? I can get into this device and hack it Okay, and make it work for me if I so choose so, but that would be going against my user agreement with your company, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go through the channels that are provided by the system and take action. Okay, sir. Yeah. You're, you're, you're claiming all of this because I won't do a hard reset with you for your Wi-Fi. Then why did your representative tell me to call back so that you could help me with that, huh? Representative even pulled up your account before the one that you spoke with you. So well, know. apparently you do because all these okay. recordings are recorded. All these conversations are recorded. Okay. So my your system has a log that I called you. Trust me, I I've, I've been oh, yeah. in your shoes before. Yeah. I've yeah. worked yeah. for 411 Directory okay. Assistance. I know how FCC regulations work. Okay, sir. Did you need assistance with something, or did you want? To Tell me about the FCC. I network. would like I the Wi-Fi option to be enabled on the phone that you sent me. Sir, we went ahead and attempted a hard reset. What you want will not help your Wi-Fi. You system. attempted a hard reset on my phone already? You're more than welcome to attempt a hard reset on your phone. Listen, you, you just said you attempted a hard reset on my phone already? No, I'm saying, did you? You're stating that you did? Okay. No, you, you said you wouldn't help me with that. Okay, and I'm letting you know that we are not going to do a hard reset for Wi-Fi issues. Okay, well then tell me how I go about doing it myself then. Can you do that, please? Yep, you can go ahead and uh, dial pound pound 786 pound. Pound sign 786 pound, okay. Okay, and then it's going to ask you for your MSL password, and the MSL is 56... 84-73. Okay. I just want to advise you that when if you do happen to attempt this reset on your own, um, 
everything might might get erased from your phone. Um, it might not help with your Wi-Fi. It actually won't help with your Wi-Fi. Um, and if you are to do anything else to the phone to where the, the technology is not working, you're going to have to purchase a replacement. Purchase a replacement. Okay. So, basically what you're saying is that you're setting me up to do something that is against the end user agreement in the contract. Is that what you're saying? Sir, I... I'm saying what exactly what I said. I just asked you a question. Can you give me a yes or no answer? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying exactly what I said. So if I do this, it's not it's not going to violate my contract, my 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 agreement with your company if I do this hard reset on my own. Um, what was that, sir? If I do this hard reset on my own, it's not going to violate my contract with the end user agreement for. No, it will not violate the contract. Okay, good. That's all I need to know. Now, if if this doesn't help me. Um, you will be being contacted by my lawyer, so you can let your boss know that. What What was your name? Emily. E M I L L Y. E M I. And your last name, please. I'm not required to give you my last name. You're not. Okay. Do you have an employee identification number or something like that that I can have? I I don't, but I'm the only Emily. You're the only Emily there. Okay, thank you for your assistance, and I'm sorry that I sound so animated. It's just I'm not an idiot, okay? And I'm sure you're not either. All righty then, sir. Have an excellent day. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. See how that works? That's how you handle stuff, all right? I'm going to upload this and do what they said, and we'll go from there. See you guys later.